Now we have the remarks of our vice chairman, please, Elena. No? Uh, thank you very much, uh, Carlos. Um, uh, Hamadun, uh, Hamadun Touré, Secretary General of ITU, dear Commissioners, Excellencies, uh, uh, dear friends, uh, it's a great pleasure for me to be here also and to welcome you for this uh, meeting of the Broadband Commission for Digital Development. I believe uh, we see here uh, our, our power, uh, the power to bring together a unique mix of people and experiences from government, private sector, from the world of research and academia. And I believe we need precisely such alliances nowadays to address the key issues of uh, sustainable development and public, common public good. I wish to thank once again uh, Mr. Carlos Slim Helu and President Paul Kagame for their leadership. And I would like to credit also my uh, co-vice chair, Dr. Hamadun Touré, also in the ITU, for the tireless efforts to promote the goals of the Broadband Commission. Broadband, we all know, is a transformational technology. Its global rollout carries vast potential for sustainable development by enhancing learning opportunities, by facilitating the exchange of information, by increasing access to content that is linguistically and culturally diverse. I'm pleased the Broadband Commission made this case so powerfully at the United Nations Conference on Sustainable Development. The conclusions of Rio Plus 20 are clear. Sustainability is the agenda for peace and development in the century ahead. And broadband can play a key role in taking this forward. For this, broadband rollout must support the development of all societies, and it must enhance freedom of expression and access to information of people, peoples around the world. Information and communication technology can be great enablers for achieving the Millennium Development Goals and the objectives of education for all. But this requires thought, it requires planning and action. And this is why we have gathered here. This annual meeting held during the high-level meeting of the United Nations General Assembly is a moment to make our case. The annual report, the State of Broadband 2012, Achieving Digital Inclusion for All, that will be launched today, provides case studies of how to leverage technology for development. Experience shows we cannot just invest in technology. We need to invest in an ecosystem. Supporting infrastructure must go with supporting applications and services with investment in local contact, in local languages. To have greatest impact, impact, broadband must be embedded in societies and ensure access to all, especially for girls and women. Broadband can help empower women by connecting them to a wide range of resources to learn, improve health, or engage in income generating activities. To these ends, for instance, uh, UNESCO has launched in Pakistan with Mobilink and the Bunyad Foundation a pilot mobile post-literacy program that has reached some 1,250 illiterate women. Just one small example. But access is not enough on its own. It must be married with skills, with basic literacy, and with digital literacy. As we move forward, we must consider also the need to safeguard digital knowledge and digital heritage for the benefit of future generations. This is the goal of the International Conference on Memory of the World in the Digital Age, which UNESCO is holding later this week in Vancouver, where some of our commissioners will be participating. So, ladies and gentlemen, by widening access to knowledge, the real driver of growth and inclusion in our societies, Broadband can be a powerful accelerator for reaching our education goals. New technologies and broadband internet can add new dimensions to how we deliver literacy, train teachers, manage schools, and share knowledge. I have seen this myself very recently in the, in the last couple of weeks that the, uh, in the efforts undertaken by two countries, Thailand and Uruguay, and also the discussions held during the Asia-Pacific Ministerial Forum on ICTs in education in Bangkok 
in September, where we partnered with Intel uh, already for these annual meetings. Exploring these issues is the goal of the working group on education, our working group on education here with the Broadband Commission, that will take place at UNESCO in Paris on the 24th February 2013, to which I invite you all. This coincides with the High Level World Summit on the Information Society Plus 10 review meeting, where we will launch the report of the Education Working Group. So, ladies and gentlemen, the work of the Broadband Commission is vital as we reach for the Millennium Development Goals and the debate uh, on the new global sustainability agenda to follow. Education and culture must stand at the heart of this agenda. And this includes broadband as a driver and an enabler of positive change. I would include here also our work to promote cultural diversity and multilingualism on the internet, namely, for instance, through the uptake of internationalized domain names. We must widen the use of all languages on the internet and develop applications for all local content. This is the shape of an inclusive and accessible broadband we are seeking. So once again, thank you for this participation and the commitment and looking forward to our deliberations today and the launch of this very important annual report. Thank you, Carlos. Thank you.